guys. It's like 7.45. I don't know if you can hear me because there's so much construction over there. Apparently they're building a Canes and a Starbucks, or a Canes and a Chipotle, which is concerning because those are like so popular right by my apartment. Just woke up. It's so beautiful out. My face when I wake up is always so swollen and puffy. This is the pile of clothes that I have to put away. Let me just move the pillow. It's huge, because I just got back from two trips, so it's like all my clothes. Here's me and it. We're chilling. I don't want to go to work today. <laughs> Guys, I feel like my face is so swollen because I, I clench my teeth like all the time, especially at night. That's where I hold all my tension in my face. <laughs> and my I wake up in so much pain. And so that's why I feel like I'm really swollen. That's the issue I've been having. <laughs> um. Guys, I put on my shirt backwards. I already know that, if, if you notice that. I brush my hair and kind of get ready. Not kind of get ready. I just want to brush my hair. Blue always gets ready with me. <laughs> he likes to stand. Blue always gets ready with me. He likes to stand on the counter. And it's so cute. <laughs> Guys, <clears throat> I need to take Meredith to the groomer. That's on my to-do list. I have to make an appointment. She just needs a good shape up. She needs a little help. <laughs> so funny. Guys, my bathroom's a mess. But Blue is just holding this. Now, I'm gonna do a little bit of makeup. Because I have work at 11 and currently it's like 10, 20. So I kind of have to hurry because there's some things I have to do before work. Um, I don't, whoop, Blue just jumped up on the windowsill. I don't want to wear a lot of face makeup because I'm working a double. And so I'll be sweating. So. So guys, I have been having so much fun on all my trips and life, but I have been on the struggle bus. I'm getting better though. I feel like I'm finally like healing deep inside. I'm like uncovering so much trauma, but not even trauma, just everything that I like kept inside because of certain things and everything like kind of goes together. And I'm still like figuring that out, but as I do that, life becomes easier because I don't know why. I'm just trying to figure out how to be happy. That's my ultimate goal. I wanna be like happy when I wake up and I am. 
I am sometimes. I don't know, life is confusing, but like I know that I'm getting better. And this is the first time that I can say that. Like truthfully, I can actually feel it. It's so weird. Like things just kind of clicked. I don't know. There are just so many like creative things I wanna do. And I feel like for the past six months, I've been so stressed out and like get stuff done, make money, like do this, be better. I'm putting myself at such a high standard that I can't even breathe. And I read something the other day on TikTok. It was like your creative flow or you have the most creative flow when you're in a relaxed state and when you when you're not stressed out and that makes sense. Like you have time to actually think. I don't know. I hope I make sense. I'm really bad at explaining things, but I'm trying to get in a place where I can relax and just do nothing. Like I want to be bored. There's just always something to be done. And so I'm like trying to balance that and figure that out. Do what makes me happy. It's just a lot. What time is it? So I have like 10 more minutes to finish my makeup. So we're gonna go fast. Like I really, really want to post on my blog more. I have so many thoughts, especially on like healing and learning who you are. And, and I know that other people are going through the same struggles as me, so I really want to be able to help people in that way. And also, I've been really wanting to make YouTube videos, so here I am doing it. And it doesn't feel like a chore. Like, that's how everything kind of started to feel when I put so much pressure on myself. And I don't want it to feel that way. I just want to create things that inspire or that someone can benefit from or someone can feel comfort because that's how i use youtube i watch people like i have my comfort youtubers <laughs> like tana mojo and emma chamberlain love them why i'm so bad at going fast okay well this eyebrow this eyebrow is not too oh whatever it's fine I've just been living life, not wearing my contacts, and I feel like my eyes are getting better, like my vision. <sighs> Guys, on vacation, I lost my favorite necklace that my parents gave me, and I'm so sad about it, like, I was stupid. And I was kind of going throughout my day untangling the necklace because it was tangled for a while and I wanted to wear it. And so I brought it with me wherever I was going. And I have no idea where I must have left it. I'm so sad about that. But I can't dwell on it. I just wanted to tell you. I also lost a gold hoop. Which is frustrating. Because I always wore those. It's okay though. 